don't want Nick Darcy representing us. Um, can never be behind him till he's made it right. He's not made of the right stuff. Uh, he should not be wearing Australian colours or representing this country, in my opinion. I didn't read up on it. If he, if he can swim, he can swim. If he can't, he can't. Nick Darcy, I, I back him. I think that he did a pretty stupid thing, and he was, I think, what, how old was he, you know, 19, 20, something like that. Did a very stupid thing on the piss one night at a pub, and he popped a bloke. I think from his story, he thought he, he thought the guy was instigating him. I don't think the bloke was. But I think he deserves a second chance, and something like going to London is something he works so hard for, and I think it'd be tough to rob a bloke of that, of that um, experience. Forget about NRL, it's kind of like pointless, I reckon, chasing a red uh, rubber ball around a, a pitch. I don't know, it's sort of like, to me, a bit of a waste of time, but... Well, it's the dominant sport in Queensland. I'm from Queensland country, everyone plays NRL in the country. Um, I don't know, I think we just breathe them a bit tougher up north. It's just, as soon as you cross the border, everyone gets a little bit more gutsy, plays with a bit more flabby. Uh, Elise Perry, I think she's Australia's best, best athlete and yeah, she shouldn't have to choose. I mean, as long as she can do them both as well as she's doing them, then there shouldn't be any argument there. I think it's a bit stupid of a soccer team to, to do that. Um, if she's a good enough player to be in the side, she plays for Australia, I think the Matildas... Uh, I, guess, I can understand why they don't want double standards, but uh, I think women's sport needs all it can get. He was still five days out with a bit of a sniffle. I'm sorry, if you're the best swimmer in the world, I follow basketball. Michael Jordan would not have done that. When England lost a football match uh, uh, for a friendly competitive side against Denmark, 4-1 last year, there was a three-page spread in the fucking Telegraph. Bow down, you're in the presence of the Crusaders. I don't think Gaelic football will ever be huge in Australia. It's a mix of Australian rules and Gaelic football. Yeah, well, it hasn't been very successful, has it? Neither here nor in Ireland, so it's a bit of a misnomer, really. It's throw it out. Gaelic football, NFL, I think it's a farce. It's, it's really been... Go to swans. Yeah, well, well, well you, you, you depended on the, on the Gaelic fellow for the swans. What was his name? Kennelly, isn't it? You depended on him. Yeah, but it, we've had a number of um, the compromise rules. And uh, they filled the stadiums in Ireland. They filled it. It's been interesting. But really, it hasn't taken off and it's, it's not serious. It's not a serious sport. It's a fun sport every couple of years. Leave it at that, I think. Do you, do you pay five grand to the weightlifter who's trying to scam you so that someone else's dreams aren't lost? 